Hello, Cork Trident fans. Welcome to this very quick video on how to build a song. To start off, you know you have to go over to the sequence button over here. Hit sequence, and it goes over to the sequencer. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is record a few sections. We'll start off with the piano. Hit OK, and you might recall you hit the record button over here. Really want to make sure you get all of it. Hit the record button. The metronome starts, and you already know all that stuff. So let me just. Uh, Make it one count in, two, three, go. Okay, so that is, it could be a verse, okay? Uh, we'll put some drums in there. Track two. Just do something basic. Okay, let's recall that. Okay, so one more thing, we'll put some bass on there. So that from one to four is, it could be a verse. Now, if you want to keep building on that, as opposed to just looping one to four over and over and over again, you could play every single thing you want in the song. To do that, you've got to go to preferences and begin to use some of these either manual punch-ins or auto punch in. So I've already recorded one to four. If I wanted that to repeat before punching in something else, I would go to menu, this is important, menu, and then track edit, and that over there at the top right, and repeat measure. And I could choose all tracks and repeat measures one to four. How many times do I want it? Let's say I want that twice. It's going to repeat one to four twice. So I expect to have one to eight playing this same thing. Hit OK. Hit Exit. And now you're back here. And it should play one to eight now. <laughs> So I've just shown you how to copy one section multiple times, okay? Next, we're going to put in a chorus. The chorus will start from measure 9 because we stopped at 8. To begin recording precisely from there, I want to use auto punch from 9, and I could do 9 to, nine to 16. Okay, another eight bars. And I use the same instruments. I'm gonna use the piano again, and I'm just gonna do a, a a different different arrangement. Okay. Move the clock dial all the way to nine. So when it counts in, you'll smack dab in nine. Okay, here we go. 
three, go. Okay, so that's the piano. Now we're going to do drums. And I'll quantize all this stuff at the end. Okay. And uh, I am playing all that stuff. You just don't see it. I am playing all that. Okay. So now we've got one more instrument. So that's going to be the bass. Here we go. One, two, three, go. wobbly but it will work and now I have nine to seven I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up with some quantization okay go to menu and track edit and this is track three which does need some cleaning so I'll just do quantize and I'm going to quantize all the measures, 1 to 16, everything that's here, and just say OK. Oh, I don't think I actually did anything. I didn't quantize. I didn't select the right resolution. So let me do that again. That's the resolution I want. OK. Now it should all, the bass should be, should be good now. And then the drums. Uh menu track edit quantize and yep that's track two let's check it out all right so that sounds good the pier the piano i'm running out of space we're gonna have to have a part two i am so sorry we'll have a part two because i'm running out of space but let me just uh, quantize track one, same thing, menu, track, edit, up there, quantize, boom, quantized. Welcome back. We have quantized all of the music. We have track one, two, and three, and measures one to 16. Let's play what we have so far. Okay, that's the bridge part. So let me go all the way back to the beginning. Go all the way back. Just hit the locate button and we can start from the beginning. This is all the verse. Now the chorus. have 1 to 16 again it's so easy just hit the menu go to track edit hit the tab up there and do repeat 1 to 16 we're going to repeat that twice and just hit OK make sure all tracks is selected and now you have the same thing from 1 to 16 you now have it from 17 to 32 as well. It's gonna repeat, check it out. And that's how you build a song. You have to mentally 
recall all the measures. So you need to remember one to four. That's typically how it is. One to four can be copied from five to eight, right? Copy one to four, two, five to eight. Copy one to eight, two, nine to 16. Copy one to 16, two, 17 to 32, and so on and so forth. So let's check this out. So this ends on 32. So if I wanted to include build again on measure 33, all I need to do is hit preferences, auto punch, tap in 33 on your keypad over here, and however many measures you want, let's say another eight. So let's do it to around here, around 41. And let's cue it. Okay, and now we're gonna we're gonna do something else. We'll change up the beat a bit. Something like that. Now right off the bat, I am going to quantize what I'm doing so I don't have to quantize it after the fact. So that's it. And okay, let's go. I'm going to just create something new. Let's do that again. So it was 33 to 40, actually. All right, let's do track one. So, so put some keys. Actually, I could do a different track. Let's do track four, and we'll just do a different keyboard sound. Okay, let's do that. some bass. Two, three, and go. So I've got 33 to 41. If I wanted that to repeat twice, again, it's the menu. Let's track edit, repeat measure, 33, hit enter, and then 40, hit enter on the keypad, that way, and okay, all tracks. We're going to repeat it twice, and now I have this. <laughs> That's how you build a song. You just keep on stacking up the measures. So from scratch, now that you understand what's going on, let's play a little bit. It's a little bit of piano. Just a tiny bit. So that you can at least see that this stuff is all being done from scratch. Let's go to track five and let's select something as a solo instrument, maybe a lead synth, hip hop lead, and uh, let's go to master effect. And we don't really have any master effect, so we can copy a master effect from Noisy Stabber. 
so at least we have some some effect on the track that we're going to use uh, insert effect and this is track five we just want to have a little a little bit of reverb or something there let's change it to a reverb sound dry plate there we go all right we're ready to perform the song so exit hit locate and we're just going back to the beginning so hit locate and back to the beginning this is it <laughs> That's how you do it. Piece it bit by bit, stack it up. Remember the measures because that's what you need to create a good song on the Trident. But it is doable.